What's up friends, we got a real mystery tonight. What you're looking at here is a 21 inch Troy built push mower. I believe this is the one they sell at Lowe's. It's got the Honda GCV 160 motor on it. It's a good little setup. I got her free on the side of the road. Did not run, free to a good home. This is my absolute uh, favorite time of year. I call it uh, IRITF. It ran in the fall, it's IRITF season. Everything gets pulled out of the shed. People didn't winterize it properly. They put it out at the side of the road with a sign that says, don't start free to a good home, whatever have you. Now this one was so cut and dry, they didn't even bring, bother bringing you people into it. I pulled the old carbon dater off here. And well, first I pulled the old carbon dater bowl off. And uh, I'll put a picture up on the screen of what I found in there. So I figured, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what your problem's gonna be. So I pulled the old carbon dater off and I looked up in there and uh, I realized that something was amiss. So I went to pull the float bowl out, as one would do, and lo and behold, there was nothing there. There was no needle in there. There was no needle, what do you want to call that, linkage. I looked again and the needle was actually sitting in the bowl with the schmoo, with the creature from the Black Lagoon. So I don't know where the linkage went that held this thing together, but uh, maybe some monkey was in there beforehand. Uh, I don't know. It, what I suspect is it didn't run because of bad gas. Somebody was monkeying around, lost the linkage, figured I'll just put it back together as is. They slam danced this guy in there and, and this it worked its way out. It ended up in the uh, in the soup there. Anyway, carburetor is kind of kind of useless without that linkage. So I went online to see how much that was going to be. And they wanted 25 bucks for a new needle with the linkage. As far as I could tell, I couldn't buy the linkage. So anyway, I looked for other options. I thought about trying to jimmy jam one together myself. I uh, quickly abandoned that idea. That, that was destined for failure. I looked in the wall of shame, my big old pile of car carbon dater parts. Couldn't find a single thing. Uh, so now I'm stuck. Do I want to spend $25 just on a friggin' needle? For $14 and change, probably came to $18 delivered. I did the unthinkable. I went aftermarket, mainland communism to be specific. $14 on the old Slamazon. I got a, uh, a new carbitrator. So obviously original equipment is always the way to go. If you can find a way to make this guy work, uh, that's the way to go. But this mower is not for me. This mower is going to be for resale. And these, these um, offshore mainland communism units, they're just fine. They're not going to last 30 years. My dad actually has about a 40 year old Honda lawnmower, push mower. That thing starts it's dang near more loyal than my Jeep. If anybody, if you tell anybody I said that, I'll say you were lying. But uh, the point is you get the whole kit here. We got a brand new, this foam filters for a different application. This accordion filter. Let's see if that fits. Because this old one was clearly spent. Oh yeah, that's perfect. We got spare parts in here. So let's just quickly do that. And uh, I think that goes this way. Yar. So there we go. Fresh setup there. Uh, some fuel line. Again, 14 bucks. New spark plug. We're going to keep the old one. We'll keep this one for a spare, spare project. But let's look at the actual carbonator we get here. Carbon data. Don't mean to be co opting Terrell's particular vernacular. Uh, on the outside, it looks good. Comes with a fresh set of gaskets. Does everything look like it matches up? Where'd I put that old carbon data? You got to keep them carbureted. Let's see. Let's compare apples to apples here. Uh, hmm, this post is different. I wonder, I don't think that post was used on ours, but hopefully that doesn't come into play. Same clutch. Uh, the new one, hmm, is this one? Uh, this one, I don't see an idle set. This one has an idle set. No big deal. All the, the valleys and uh, general contortions look to be about the same. Let's slam this guy on there. I had that thing running on carb spray, but without a needle, obviously it was just, I don't even know what it was doing. I guess it was flooding, right? So uh, let's get over there, see if all these gaskets line up and see if we can't get her slam dance back together. And once again, original equipment is always the way to go. OEM replacement, but who can afford it? Uh, but we don't always have time for rational solutions. Let's see what we can do on this guy. Uh, the old heat shield and what do we want to call this? Manifold block? I don't know. Spacer? I think its technical name is a... Uh, I don't know. I just don't know. But it's still in good shape. I think it goes down yonder. 
and then there's a gasket what's going to go on there that looks like it lines up properly because we got the little hole there this is a very common motor which is why i'm bothering doing this motor unit oh here first let's hook up our um our uh our throttle right hmm i think it was on this one you know what i took pictures let me consult the diet oh, nope that one doesn't fit so yeah that back one doesn't fit so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go with that one and that'll go in there the spring of a thing getting spring of a thong and now our throttle is in good shape should we work from the back end what do you think all right let's move you guys back a little bit all right first things first is there don't do that is there a gasket on here should there be yeah i think this big guy might and it <clears throat> has a hole that's going to line up with this can you see that crazy pass through there yeah so there's a little hole there i think that's some kind of vent tubage for for gosh knows what smarter man than me put that there so we're going to leave it there and then this right right is where i'm going this and then slurp get that guy on there and now we do need uh, yeah, there's a gasket for this. We'll deal with that in a minute. That goes like that, so that goes like that. Which makes sense, because there's a little uh, air passage hole there as well. We're doing great. And this like this. And if I recall, this gasket looks easier than it is. Because it could go a bunch of ways, but it does go one way, and that's definitely not it. Is that it? It's also prone to ripping, if memory serves. I've done a number of these in my time. Just make sure there's no overlap. I think that'll do her. And we should be good to go. If you're feeling fancy, I suppose you could hook up this, uh, it goes through there, this little PCV vent. I don't think it goes through your linkage. I think it goes under your linkage. So that's on. Oh boy. And we'll start getting her threaded through. One thread, two thread, me thread, you thread. Oh boy. I don't know if you can hear that. Choppers are coming. You must have heard we were putting aftermarket parts on our Hyunda. And we'll tighten her down ever so cautiously. I think that choke may or may not be attached now because of not having that thing on it. Let me see something. Yeah, no, that's not, that choke's not attached. So let's see, what can we do? All right, friends, now we came over to the old car body. This is the original one. We chopped her up and it turns out, yoink, you can pull that choke blade right out of there. So what we're gonna do is take that thing apart and see if we can't switch this whole choke rod, because otherwise that's not going to work, so we won't have choke. All right, friends, here is the new one, the new carb carbonator. Uh, same exact choke blade setup and everything, uh, so I think we just have to find a way to wiggle this one out, being careful, because carbs, aluminum, and the choke thing, the choke doohickey's plastic. There we go. Pops right out of there. It does have some little dimples that you do have to overcome. Aw, oh, dimples. But it's no big deal. All right, now. Let's try to remember the way everything goes here. This is clocked so that it opens and it should, yep. You can see the spring for it comes around. I know that's not in focus. The spring for it comes around down yonder. So what we're gonna do is pop that spring off. I'm trying to do it one-handed. There we go. Now the whole thing ought to rise right out of there. Let's get you guys back in your holster. 
and do the inverse. Here's our old one, same setup. Pop the old spring off. Pop the old out of there. And we'll give her one good half a turn, I suppose. Doesn't need a lot of tension. Oh, now there's an issue. This is ever so much larger. And the new one. Boy, we're just hitting problems at every turn, aren't we? I don't see that as a problem. I'm going to take this spring off, remembering where it goes. We don't have to take much off, just a bit. Take a little tear of the 220. Make sure it's long enough. That'll do. Let's see about bringing her around. Because other than that, I mean, even if we have to use the old choke plate, they are the same size. So, a little bit of clearance never hurt anybody, eh? So obviously you don't want this to be tight in there. What do you think? Let's see if the spring will overcome it. If it will, we're done. If not, we got some more sanding to do. I mean, that's good enough for me. Let's see if we can get that choke blade in there. There we go. Like that. We pop that in. Perfectly operating choke. Now here's what we're gonna do. Uh, what do you think? Is that gonna come out of there or not? Nah, I don't think it's gonna fall out under normal operation. All right, you see what we did now, right? We took this old one from the original carbon dater and we put it on the new keep them carburetted. I'm pretty happy with that. I see the holes line up, that little cutout. So if you're buying this for Troy built, this particular iteration of the GCV 160, it's a $14 kit. Take an extra two minutes and some 220 and make the moderation. I see nothing wrong with that. I see this as an absolute win. Now the only problem would be if the, if the tension is wrong, because I do believe, I don't know, let's get it on the machine again. It takes two seconds to throw her on there. I'll do that and then we'll see where we're standing. Who buddy buck, I'll tell you what, you know you did a good job when you have extra parts. There was a spare gasket. I have to assume that's for another application because this carburetor must go on all kinds of different things. Let's throw the last few screws in. Let's see, this little guy goes in here. This little guy went to market. You might as well tighten them down. And this little guy went over here. My little ratchet is uh, the one I rebuilt. Just having some issues. Okay, I think we're about time now to see if this thing wants to fire off. She's got fresh fuel in her, as always. Give her a little spritz of the good stuff, just to get her started. Just to give her a fighting chance. I know people hate it when I do that, but oh, well, I don't really care. Uh, turn the fuel on. Yep, there we go. And in the time it takes me to walk this outside, that fuel should be down in the carburetor bowl. This thing was also pretty low at Earl, so let's, let's top her off there before we get started. Some of the finest that Wally World can provide. All right, if you put too much, it'll just blow it out the PCV. Ain't no big deal. Just kidding, not really. All right, all systems are go. Nothing left to it but to do it. It wouldn't really be a DVC video if we weren't testing it in the dark, would it now?
friends. She didn't even smoke, which kind of takes all the fun out of it. That's not true. Smoking a little bit, burning off some of the goop and the gunk. I think she might have sat for a few seasons. But as somebody pointed out on my Instagram, she's a Honda. You know she's going to run. And I hate to admit it, but it is the truth, which is why we scoop this bad boy off the side of the road. That's not true. I will scoop anything off the side of the road, any small engine, in any condition. And I will bring it home. And in between there and there, we'll get her running. Anyway, point being... Uh, if you have this, it doesn't say it on it. It said it's probably back here, but the sticker's all gone. These 21-inch uh, push mowers are typically a uh, GCV 160. If you got a bigger jam with the self-propelled, it might be a GCV 190. A lot of the parts are the same, but these Amazon carburetors are really not terrible. Original engine equipment is always better, but for 14 bucks, well, you can't beat that with a stick, and I wouldn't suggest you try. So. I'm going to leave a link down to the exact one that I got because there is a mess of them on there. Uh, if you got any specific questions about getting your lawnmower running, by all means, leave me a comment down there in them squawk boxes. If you like the video, like the video. That's common sense. And strap in. If you guys thought that I did way too many snowblowers, digit deleters over the winter, just wait till you see how many tow trimmers we do this summer. I think I already have 10 on the property. It ain't even really lawn season yet so comment down there in the squawk box as always thanks for watching